regardless of what you teach, your curriculum will be filled with vocabulary that your students are not always familiar with. For this reason, many schools in the U.S. have advocated the use of a word wall. Simply put, a section of your room devoted to new vocabulary. Traditionally, these displays have been simplistic, like this one here. If you're a student trying to learn new vocabulary, how much help would this word wall be? Sure, they can see how it's spelled, but there isn't anything that helps them understand the meaning of the word. And that's the most important part, not only for them to see it, but to know what it means. So we're gonna help our word wall out by using a strategy called word art. The premise is easy. You'll assign specific students vocab words, give them the definition, and then allow them to use their creativity to make the word into an artistic expression which visually demonstrates the word's meaning. All they'll need is something to draw with and a piece of paper. Let's say you're in early elementary school teaching the seasons. A student might make winter partially covered in snow, or the letters in the word fall floating down the paper on leaves. Or if you're in high school teaching about different forms of government, perhaps one of your students comes up with a clever way to draw the word monarchy. There's the king or queen on top with the crown and the societal hierarchy associated with a monarchy. Very interesting. If your students are struggling with developing an idea, feel free to help them out. This is also a great partner activity as sometimes two heads are more innovative than one. Either way, when you use word art, you're increasing your students' engagement by allowing them to be creative while teaching them important vocabulary words. And once this becomes part of your word wall, your students will have a valuable visual resource to help them cement the vocabulary into their memory.